So why life is hard and why it must be. So there's a thing in spiritual personal development that has made us believe that if it's hard, something's wrong. And I've talked about this in other videos before, but the biggest problem about that is that it sets you up to actually believe that when it's hard, this is the wrong path, it shouldn't be this way, and it creates a lot more resistance, it creates a lot more anxiety, it creates confusion, and it's one of the biggest things that causes people to quit or that causes people to get caught in the shiny object syndrome where they go looking for the easier path. And I really want you to understand this, and it's not unspiritual, it's not a negative affirmation to say life is hard. Let me say, it's not life that's hard, life experience is hard. Life is complete, life is free, life is perfect, but it's infinite, and the unfoldment as our experience and the journey of embodying this infinite potential in density is hard, people. <laughs> it's hard, and it's hard for a reason because this dynamic in this experiment called human living, called material expression and manifestation, is that the challenge is what activates the potential. For example, would you go to a school and say, why are there all these challenging problems and tests and subjects? Clean all that out so that there's, it's really easy and simple. Would you ever learn anything? Would you ever get smarter? Would you ever, become, activate more of your potential? No. Would you go to a gym and go, what's with all these weights and resistance and it's, uh, let's get rid of all the weights and stuff and then I'll be okay. Now some of you are going, no, it sounds awesome. <laughs> but that's fine, but you're not gonna grow. You're gonna atrophy, you're gonna stagnate. And how do I know this is not some human problem? Because it's everywhere in nature. The, the jack pine that needs a forest fire to melt the serotonous glue around the seed pod to crack open the seed pod and release its progeny. It also burns down old trees that are blocking the canopy to release more light. It also burns up dead wood and fertilizes the soil so that it's ready to grow more and more robustly. If a jack pine tried to grow itself the way a lot of us do, had a vision board where there was never a fire in the forest, or maybe some burly firemen were ready to put it out at the moment's notice, guess what would happen to the jack pine species? It would die off. Or I like to joke, you know, if a seed tried to grow the way we want to grow spiritually, it would pray away all the dirt, right? And it'd be like, I'm clean at last, clean at last. And the sun would come out in all of its glory and shine upon this clean seed sitting on a rock and burn it to a crisp. So instead, the seed buries itself in the dirt. It digs through the dirt. It requires struggle. Some plants need difficult soil. If you, if you actually put them in soft soil, they fail to thrive. A chicken in an egg, at a certain point, it gets too big for the egg. It's cramped. It runs out of food. It's hungry. It's filled with its own refuse, its own garbage. It smells. It's cramped. It smells and it's hungry. And if you were like, oh, poor chicken, let's make it easier on this little chick, and you open the shell and released it, it would die. So what happens? Because of that hard, difficult, challenging situation, it starts looking for every little bit of nourishment. And as a result, it starts pecking. And as a result, it strengthens its lung capacity, its, its wing muscles, its neck muscles, and it cracks open the shell right on time so that it's strong enough to live in a bigger environment. If it was released, it wouldn't have the muscles, it wouldn't have the capacity to thrive in a larger environment. Because your nature is infinite, you have infinite abundance, infinite power, infinite wisdom, but it's infinite and you're trying to express it in form, the form has to constantly be evolved, constantly be updated, upgraded, up-leveled, and so you have to have more strength, more muscles, more capacity, so you can carry more and more voltage and wattage and, and, and energy, right? And so that's why it has to constantly break down and reform, break down, reform. It's why chaos theory says that behind every chaotic pattern, there's a larger order always emerging. So the nature of creation in this material world is we grow through challenge, 
We grow through having to activate more of us. And because of the density and the slow down nature of this dimension, if we didn't have that contrast or that challenge, we would not grow. We would stagnate. We would stay the same. And then because everything is evolving, we would start to diminish. And so when the, when the burden feels too heavy, do not pray that you make it lighter. Pray that you get stronger. When the object of your desire seems too far out of reach, do not pray to bring it closer. Pray that your reach and your extension gets longer. Because the ultimate goal of your soul is not about the acquisition and achievement and acquiring of things. It's about the greater emergence and effulgence of your capacities. And what pulls that out is a challenge. You work out, you tear your muscles, you, you can only do 10 reps, that's your maintenance level. Where does all the growth happen? The 11th rep and on. It's the thing you can't do. That's where all the growth happens. If you surround your life and create a life or even strive to create a life without challenge, you are creating hell. Hell means stagnation. Heaven, similar to the word leaven, which causes the bread to rise, heaven is ever expanding good. Heaven on earth is people that are so strong, have such soul stamina and resilience, and are so identified with their greater nature that they thrive on challenge, they thrive on obstacles. They know the obstacle is the opportunity. They know that what's in the way is the way. And they, when the challenge arises, they don't go, oh no, this is bad, why have you forsaken me? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Let's make it easier. They man up, they woman up, they step up, they stand up, they release their wishbone, they got a backbone, and they can make anything happen. When you begin to embrace challenge and the hard stuff with excitement and enthusiasm and be like, all right, I'm about to grow. I'm about to get stronger, better, bolder, bigger, more abundant. You will be unstoppable. You will be unshakable. You will be unbreakable and you will be unsinkable. Do you want that? Or do you just want things to be easy? Do you want things to be comfortable and convenient? It's not going to be hard all the time but it's going to be hard and challenging when it's time to grow. And right now, look around you at the world, it's time for us to grow. I hope you're ready, take the challenge, and until next time, live authentically, love unconditionally, and follow your destiny.